In this video, we're going to get started building our for sale application with Elasticsearch. We're going to get started by getting the code from GitHub to provide a starting point so we can skip a lot of the tasks that we've already covered in other videos like my Instagram series or some of my Firebase videos. I want to I don't want to have to build this login screen again and also build the register screen again. And so I've I've provided code on GitHub that you can get so that we don't have to do that. So by the end of this video, you'll have a fully functional register screen and a fully functional login screen, and it'll be synced with a new Firebase project. So let's head over to GitHub and get that uh, repository. Okay, I've created another GitHub account to simulate what it's going to be like from your perspective doing this. So what you're going to want to do is the links in, in the description, or you can go to github.com and then uh, search Mitch Tabian. Uh, looks like they didn't come up. Then just do Mitch Tabian. So github.com slash Mitch Tabian to head over to my GitHub and then you can go to repositories. And what we're looking for is this for sale starting point. So that's what we're going to look at. And so we need to clone or download and we're going to copy this link right here. Now we're going to go back to Android Studio and you can open up any Android project. It doesn't matter because we're not actually going to be using this project. We're just going to go to file, go to new and importing from version control, just because I find this is the easiest way to get the project. Then we're going to click on GitHub and we can type the URL in there. And then I want to rename this to for sale. So just get rid of that starting point text right there. And then we're just going to press clone and you're going to get this error and just want to hit keep all. So now we have the repository cloned but you'll probably have version control enabled, so we need to disable that. And uh, so you can test to see if you have version control enabled by just creating a new Java class, just do anything. I'm just gonna call it new class. And I'm going to say, no, don't ask me again. You can tell version control is enabled because that text is red. So you, you see on new class right here where the text is red, that's because there was a change made, we just created a new class and the version control is picking it up. So we need to disable version control. So to do that, we're going to go to uh, settings and go down into version control right here. And this is actually that's fine if that's on Git, uh, but we need to get rid of all the ignored files. So just select that, that and that and get rid of them and then hit apply. And now we need to delete the Git file that's in your project directory. So we need to find where the project was saved. In my case, it's in Android Studio projects slash for sale. So I'm going to navigate to that directory. So here it is, as, as you can see, I'm in F and then Android Studio Projects and then for sale. I'm gonna delete this git file right here. So I'm just gonna hover over it, hit delete, and there we go. Now I'm gonna go back to Android Studio and I'm going to press refresh and I'm going to rebuild the project. And this error right here, invalid VCS root mapping is actually because uh, if we go back into settings and we go back into version control, into right here. So this, is, this VCS is set to git. So actually what we could do is add uh, just add a new one and have it set to none go okay and then uh, or we could just set this to none actually and we can remove that other one and then hit apply so now we have no version control and that takes care of that error so now we're ready to get started so i'll delete this new class that we made over here just for testing and there we go now you're ready to get started with the project so now we have our project and the code should all work with the login screen and the register screen but we need to connect it with your Firebase project. So we're gonna to need to go to firebase.google.com and create a new Firebase project. Here we are. Now we're gonna go go to console. Now we're gonna create a new Firebase project. And I'm just gonna call it for sale because that's what the Android project's called and my country is Canada, so I'm gonna create that. And uh, once again, I'm skipping a lot of steps here because we've already done this in a lot of my other projects. So essentially I'm just going through the motions and showing you what I'm doing. So now we want to add Firebase to our Android app. So we can click this button here and our, get our package name from our project. So let's open up Android Studio. And we can get the package from any of the Java files. So we're gonna project, app, Java, open the main package directory, and I'm just gonna open up search activity here. And I'm gonna copy the package name. Now go back to Firebase, paste in the package, we don't need a nickname, we don't need an SHA1 certificate, so we're gonna go register. Now we need to add our Google services JSON file, so I will download that. Now that it's downloaded, we want to go back to Android Studio, navigate to the project pane, so click this double-sided arrow, go to project, and we're gonna dump it into our app folder. 
but notice there's already a Google Services JSON file because that was what was already on the repository but this one is not going to point to the right Firebase project so it's going to point to my project not yours so you're going to need to delete that if you don't delete it it won't work so make sure you delete this and then once it's deleted we can add your Google Services JSON file so that's going to be this one right here just dragging it in dumping it into the app folder pressing OK and there we go so now the application will be synced with your Android project oh actually I guess we gotta finish the steps here so hit continue I've already added these dependencies if you got your code from my github which I'm assuming you did so we can pretty much just skip this step and go to finish so now we have the Android project and the Firebase project synced together so let's test it we're gonna go and test the application so everything's looking good, but we actually forgot to enable an authentication method. So we're going to have to go back to our Firebase console and go to authentication and go to setup sign in method, click on email and password, click enable, click save. And now we can register uh, new users. So we'll go to register and I'll just try to register my email. So Mitch at Tabian.ca, I'll just do Mitch Tabian my password of password and another password of password and I'll click register okay so it looks like it was successful now that we have a new user registered we'll also need to verify their email so I'll check my email inbox and here's my Gmail and there is the verification link that we need to click to verify the email so I'll just click it there we go my email is verified now let's actually test a login so let's go to the app and I'm going to test a login. So Mitch at Tabian.ca and my password of password. And I'm going to click login. And there we go. I'm authenticated. So that's all I wanted to do in this uh, video. I just wanted to provide a starting point so we didn't have to go through all the manual work of building a login activity, building a register activity. So we could get started on the new content of this series, which is going to be building a classifieds app using Elasticsearch. So in the next video, we'll get started building our app.